How's it going to be? Well, it can't be too much longer now, Ford. I wish you'd ask Doc Samuels over like I asked you to. Paul, I can do anything Doc Samuels can do. Well, that isn't the point. Adam and little Joe are waiting for us to take over those cattle they've been driving in. We're late already. Well, they can wait. This mare can't. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Easy. Easy. Hand me that medicine over there, Paul, right quick. Huh? That special medicine I cooked up. Throw on the second shelf there. Get it for me, quick. What you got? Oh, an old journal that I was, I was keeping while your mother and I were coming across the country. <laughs> Matter of fact, with that mayor, you remind me a great deal of her. Yeah. She liked animals a lot, didn't she? Yeah, she sure did. I remember she kept some people waiting once, too. Whole wagon train full of people. Well, she helped the cutest little fold into this world. Her eyes are lit up like a captain's lamp as they have been ever since she started to help Mr. Simon's mare have her foal. It seemed to be a sign for her, an indication of the new life and happiness that awaits us. Do you think it's... Ben, shh. Shh. Well, we'll hurry it up, will you? Everything's ready. Everybody's all set and waiting. I can't go now, Ben. Not yet. I have to know that she is all right. Well, that may or may not fall for hours. Now, let Simon look after her. He'll catch up with us. It will be any minute, Ben. I can't leave her now. Not now. It is her first. She's frightened and nervous. Well, look... Inga, she's not your mayor. Let Simon look after her. Ben, Adam is not my son, but you have entrusted him to me. Just the way Mr. Simon has entrusted his prize mayor to me. Ben, call Mr. Simon quick. What? Hurry, Ben. Hey, Simon. Simon, your mayor is ready. Simon? Simon, it's the mayor. Ben, isn't he beautiful? <laughs> oh, Ben. <laughs> I'm ready to go now, Ben. I'm sorry about the delay. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Come on, Simon, put some diapers on that boy and we'll get rolling. <laughs> pa! 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 What is it, Adam? Mr. Walks, the wagon master. I think he's there. <laughs>
drunk again. That means more delays. That man leads his train like we was on a picnic. At the time, Mr. Payne, we were lucky to get him. There was no one else available. Well, we all agreed we wanted to make California this year. I'll talk to him again. As soon as he's sober. <laughs> ben, always writing in your journal. <laughs> I guess I had too many years at sea. Anyway, a log is important, Inga. I know. <laughs> My father started at one just like that before we left Sweden. Oh, those were happy times. I treasured it for years because oh, it was so much a part of him. All I ever seem to get into this log is trouble. We walk by faith and not by sight, baby. Of course. Those people put their faith in me. They talked them into selling their homes, everything they owned. I sure didn't expect this much trouble. These are strong people, Ben. They can stand a little disappointment. I didn't promise them disappointment. I sure didn't promise you this much hardship. Your dream is worth any hardship. My dream? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. A big, stupid dream. We are making progress, Ben, no matter how slow Inga, we... Inga, don't you understand if we don't make better time than we're doing? We just shouldn't have started out this year, that's all. We should have been better prepared, better equipped. Ben. Ben? I poured a gallon of coffee into Welks. He's on his feet. Good. You better get ready. Well, what do you have to say for yourself this time? Her head hurts. Your head hurts? Oh. Welks, do you know how many days your drinking has cost us? With your late starts and early stops? My head hurt from the night before. I figured a few nips would help out, but they caught up with me. Well, let me tell you something, mister. Our bargain was that you were to take us to Ash Hollow in time to join that main wagon train if we miss it. You'll not get a penny. Not a single penny. Stop your fretting. You got nothing to worry about. I need that money bad. I'll see that you get the Ash Hollow with time. I'll let you get out of here. What do you think will win out, then? The whiskey or the money? <sighs> I wish I knew. Let's roll. Come on, everybody. Let's get going. We have no time to waste now. August 19th. We're moving at a faster pace. Welks has kept his word and remained sober. Maybe our troubles are over. Back a bit. 
tired boy. Yeah. <sighs> Inga, you could do with some rest yourself. It's a hard trip we're making, and I'm worried about you doing so much. Oh, I don't do so much. Yes, you do. Everybody has to do a share. Are you doing more than your share? By helping Mrs. Payne with that boy of hers, it's a wonder you haven't come down with the fever yourself. Well, he's Adam's friend, and he seems to like the Swedish songs I sing to him. Well, just the same. Maybe it's like bread. People always think the bread of another country tastes better than their own. Yeah. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, I don't know. Wondering. Wondering whether where we're going is so much better than what we had. Of course it is. You will plow and plant and build. You will have a house and a garden. We will have a house and a garden. You and Adam and I. We will have a house. With windows on the east and windows on the west. <laughs> Some for the sunrise and some for the sunset. You make the impossible seem possible. And it is possible. You see. Now, we must put Adam to bed and get some sleep ourselves. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll help you with Adam. Then I want to see Welks for a minute. More trouble with him? No, no, no. I just want to check up on him, make sure that we get an early start. <laughs> That's my whiskey, Wilkes. At least it was my money bought it. Rockwell. I know you was following me. That's right. Ever since I heard you was guiding this train. I waited, Rockwell. I swear it. I waited as long as I could. But I had to leave this wagon train or lose the job. You're a liar. But it don't make no difference. Just give me my money. I... The money, Wilkes! I waited so long. There was nothing to do but play cards. I lost... You lost my money. I'll pay you back, I swear it. That's why I took the pilot and his wagon train to pay you back. You dirty, filthy liar. Let him be. Do as I say, drop him. Drop him. Now, what's all this about? Who are you? This, uh, this partner of mine stole a whole lot of money from me. I'm just trying to squeeze the worth of it out of his hide. I told him I'd pay him back. Tell him I got money coming. Tell him. You the leader of this train? Yeah. You owe this thief money? Yeah, I owe money, but he gets it when we get to Ash Hollow. Well, you can just turn it all over to me right now. We'll see if there's enough to cover what he owes me. Nobody gets anything till we make Ash Hollow. Now, let him go. I'll pay you back, Rockwell. Every cent of it. As soon as we get to Ash Hollow. I'll get my horses. And I'll be following along. Just to make sure that I get my money. You didn't kill him. No. He did. In self-defense. That's right. In self-defense. I was here. But what are we going to do now? Wilkes was the only man who knew the way. Who is that man, Ben? Wilkes owed him money. 
But what are we going to do? I'll camp here for the night, providing you have no objections. All right, go ahead. I knew this train was jinxed. My boy's sick, and we'll now we'll talk well, about it in the morning. Help me with him, will you? Bane, help me with him. There you are, Adam. You take it over there now and eat. Coffee's still hot, Inga. You are, and it's good too here. Thank you. Men and their talk. And they fault us for chattering. Well, they were brief enough at Velk's funeral this morning. Poor man. God rest his soul. Oh, Inga, you're too soft. Welk's got what he deserved. I'll wager you haven't told your man you're with child yet. Well, he has so much on his mind, I hate to worry him. You indulge that man too much? And why shouldn't I, when I love him so much? Well, you're all agreeing I should ask him then, huh? I'd better talk to him before he rides out. Morning. I've been delegated to talk to you. What about? Well, you said you were a partner of Wilkes's, isn't that right? And if you guide too, do you know this country? Like the back of my hand. Where are you headed? The gold fields, west. Good. That's where we're headed. We'll pay you well to lead us there. I'm in a hurry. I don't need your money. Just what Wilkes owed me. You really think it's a promised land of milk and honey out there, don't you? Look, all we want is help to get us where we're going. You ain't fit for where you're going. You listen to me, mister. We planned this trip for a long time. We sold everything we owned. And we put our trust in God, and all we want is for you to make us more fit than what we are. <laughs> Besides, nobody gets any money. Wilkes's or anybody else's. Until we reach Ash Hollow. All right. That's the only way I'm going to get the money that's owed me. That's the only way. But I don't want him to face any winter snows. You follow my pace or I leave you behind. The first week with Rockwell guiding us, we struggled through hills, browned by a sun that also drains strength from us. But it points the way west to the new land. Indian country. The women are a little alarmed, but I don't believe we'll have any trouble if we don't get in their way. No, oh, come on, roll them. Keep them moving. We're never going to get there. Hey, Rockwell, take it easy. We've already made 15 miles today. We'll make another five before sundown. You better slow down. The women can't take it. Ah, then send them back where they belong. I'm ordering you to slow down. You ain't on the quarter deck of a clipper ship now, Captain. Same rule applies, mister. It's my responsibility. You hired me on my terms, Captain. All right, yo! Roll them out there. <laughs> worry about Inga. Rockwell is as extreme in his urgency as Welks was in his procrastinations. Yeah. 
September 1st. Joe Payne's boy died this morning. We burnt gunpowder over his grave and trailed the stock across so the wolves or the Indians aren't likely to find his body. Well, go on, get back there. I want to help you. Do as I tell you. Get her into the wagon. Oh, Ben, Ben. I had hoped to whisper it to you sometime when we were alone, to draw us closer with my wonderful news. I should have guessed. I should have guessed. Well, my mother gave birth to my brother Gunnar in the fields after a day's plowing. I was sure it would be as effortless for me. You should have made things easier for you. I thought there was no hardship I could not endure if only I could bring this precious life into the new world for you. <laughs> what can I do for you? Don't worry, Ben. <laughs> The baby is not due for months yet. Oh. Look, I, I, I've got to get you back to where there's a doctor. Oh, no, Ben, I won't let you. Nothing is more important than you. I'll get Rachel. Oh, Ben. Help her, Rachel. Will you uh, take care of that? How is she, Ben? I don't know. Is she able to travel? She's in pain. Winter's closing in on us, Ben. We didn't come equipped to face winter on the trail. We can face it if we have to. Not with me. If you slow down anymore, you'll never reach Ash Hollow before the first snows. Now you take your choice. Get caught by winter or move, and move hard. Now, Inga, don't you worry yourself about anything. No, listen to me. I felt life inside me, Ben. I know I, I will carry the baby now. Tell them we will go on, no matter what. Oh, now, don't you worry, Ben. She's a fine, healthy girl. Be all right. Mr. 
Rockwell? We're moving. Let's roll. You sure now? <laughs> I seem to have lost count of the days. The weather grows cold, but we're moving, and the people feel better, even cheerful at times. <laughs> I gotta tell you, my wife is much too good a cook, and I'm eating too much. <laughs> Now, Ben, you're an expectant father. You've got to keep up your strength. You're no. absolutely right. Have absolutely you, right. Have you picked the name for the baby? Mm-hmm. We're either going to call him after Inga's father or after mine. Hmm. Inga, Ben says you're going to have a boy. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, if we, if we call him after Inga's father, then the next boy we'll call after my father, Joseph. Oh, listen to the man. Uh, he's got a name for his third son, and his second hasn't even been born yet. <laughs> well, you have to be prepared with names. <laughs> no, this is good, honey. Hmm. I brought you some food. Thanks. Whatever else, there may be women are better cooks than men. Yeah. My food always tastes flat. I've forgotten what spices could do. You had a wife who cooked with spices? And children, too? Look, Mrs. Cartwright. Stay out of my affairs. Just stay out of them. Even devils strip me bare, sleeping on guard, you stupid. Wait a minute. What are you up to? I'm going to get my stock back. That's everything I own. Are you going to track them down? They won't go far before getting into that whiskey in my gear. I never saw an Indian yet that didn't pass out cold after a good lick run up. I'm going with you. You stay here. You'd be no help at all. Whatever I don't know, you teach me. That'd take a hundred years, Captain. I go alone. I'm going with you just to make sure you come back. All right, Captain. Let's get going. I'll be back soon. Ben. You get my hat and gun. Well, we better get back. We're not going back until we find him. I don't see how we'll ever find him in this wild country. What's the matter, Captain? You finding the land of milk and honey tougher than the sea? No, just different. You bet it's different. I'll learn to live with it. You'll learn to live with it. Will you plant your roots in the stinking hell? Will your crops rot? You lose your cattle to blizzards? Your hogs die of the sickness. Will you lose everything you got to those stinking, murdering savages?
about scum. You know better than they are. That Indian didn't have a chance. I'd have killed the whole stinking tribe. You'd have done the same. If they'd murdered and scalped your wife and kids. That's right. That's no excuse to, to get down to their level. I don't need your preaching. You made me bring you out here. How far do you think you'd have gotten without me? We needed what you had to offer. But not, not if it makes us animals. You're no better than I am, Captain. Don't give me your plan for living. I don't need it. What's keeping you, Rockwell? Can't just be the money. You bet it can't. Why'd you just pull up and leave? Because I need to see you lose everything, just like I did. Your wife, your children, and your stinking dreams. <laughs> Ben, are you all right? Yeah. Ben, listen to me. The baby, your baby, it's come. What? It's a boy, Ben. A fine, strong boy. That is the name for a big, friendly man. Horse. I tell you what, Adam. We'll give them both names and see which one sticks. <laughs> Smoke signals. I wish I knew more about the Indians' ways. They may not take the death of the man Rockwell killed, likely. Anger is still weak, but we have to move on. The baby is healthy, seems to have inherited the strength of this rugged country of his birth. Does his share of duties. He's getting to be quite a boy. You're doing real fine, Adam. Thanks, Pa. Warm enough? What were you writing this time? Oh, about meeting the Rhine Company at Ash Hollow and about Inga getting a few days' well-deserved rest. <laughs> Speaking of well-deserved rest, let me hold him for a while. <laughs> this Rocky makes him sleep. 
What are you thinking? <laughs> My mind is a kind of journal full of weather and growing things. Not many would want to read it. Oh, I would. <laughs> Someday I too will write a journal. And I will put into it all the things I learned from you. How to tell our way by the stars. How to know the coming weather by the smell of the wind. Uh -huh. Those things are like nothing compared to the things that you've taught me. Of understanding, and affection, and love. But then I knew you would. First time I set eyes on you in your father's store. <laughs> you were something from a childhood fancy. So many times, just before I'd go to sleep after a hard day's work in the wheat fields, a man so strong and swift would come and pick me up in his arms as lightly as if I was a sheaf of wheat. It was you, Ben. Company was supposed to meet him here. They was here. What did you say? I said they was here. What do you mean they was here? Well, they waited as long as they could. There was no deadline. They were supposed to wait until we got here. I know, but Ryan got word from Fort Laramie that they was in bad need of some of the supplies he was carrying. He just couldn't wait any longer. You did this, us. You fill us full of wild dreams. Oh, Joseph, don't! You held us back. We would have been here long ago if it hadn't been for you and your wife. What are we going to do now with winter coming on? Hey, that's enough! Simon, no. Might not have to worry about winter now. I ain't seen them around here for a long time. Are they from the same tribe as those three that stole the horses? Yeah. They even dragged along the body of the one I killed. When you murdered. That's right. That didn't stop me from killing the other two. They didn't ever know the difference. What are they up to now? That's where they bury their dead, up in the air, so their spirits can fly free. In for a fight? We're in for a fight. Inga, Rachel, everybody, into the way station quickly. Simon, hey, get the guns and ammunition. Hurry it up. I'm going to talk to them. Won't do any good now, Captain. They're too fired up.
We'll eat soon. Get back from that window. That's right, Kevin. You gotta go on. The man learns, Captain. When I was a boy, my pa gave me a seedling tree to plant for my own. And when it, when it didn't grow, I stomped it and tore it out of the ground. And, and all the time, I couldn't see that the reason it died was because I didn't water it. Well, this is time to give them what they want. What? You don't know Indians. They don't want any of you. They want the man who killed that brave. You do like your wife said. Take care of those boys. Rockwell!
Inca. My love. We are going on now. I feel determined to do as Inga wanted. To do what I know in my heart must be done. To make this journey worth it. After all. Hey, Paul! Look at that! She's done it all by herself. Ain't that something? Your mother'd be mighty proud of you, horse.